Hi folks, welcome to Solarpunk Station where we're building regenerative futures. I'm Navar, and today we're going to talk about Solarpunk co-housing in old malls. One of the best ideas for Solarpunk co-housing that I've seen is Blue Lightning 42's post about repurposing malls on Tumblr. Does anyone else really like the whole mall aesthetic? Probably an 80s, 90s kids thing. But instead of consumerism, there's micro-apartments, a whole lot more vegetation, and a commons area. Maybe with keeping the whole food court thing as a place for people to eat together. As part of its Death of Suburbia series, Business Insider talked about how roughly 25% of shopping malls in the United States are at risk of closing. That's a lot of space. And when we're in the middle of the housing crisis, I think this is a really good opportunity to build more housing. Grist recently produced a video about how some communities, most notably Seattle, are repurposing their old malls as community hubs, which was actually their original intention. Ellen Dunham Jones from the Georgia Institute of Technology gave a more in-depth look at this process of retrofitting malls in her 2010 TED Talk. So this happens to be a dead mall in St. Louis that's been re-inhabited as art space. It's now home to artist studios, theater groups, dance troupes. It's not pulling in as much tax revenue as it once was, but it's serving its community. It's keeping the lights on. Um, you know, it's, it's becoming, it's, it's, I think, a really great institution. Other malls have been re-inhabited as nursing homes, as universities, and as all variety of office space. As malls everywhere experience hard times due to the retail apocalypse, is this our chance to reorient these monuments to capitalism into something more community-minded? Here in Charlottesville, Fashion Square Mall has been emptying out like so many others. Sears left in March 2019, and nothing has come to replace it. Instead of letting it sit vacant, you could retrofit apartments in the main store and put a makerspace in the old auto shop. I couldn't find a square footage estimate of the store, but if we assume that it's around 50,000 square feet, around 4,600 square meters for those of you in the sane parts of the world, and 10,000 square feet are set aside for the makerspace and community areas, it seems reasonable that you could fit around 50 to 60 apartments in the 40,000 square feet remaining. With a mix of sizes from micro apartments to three bedrooms, you could make some decently affordable housing for single people, families, and elders. With the old store now affordably housing 100 or more people, people could start new businesses in empty storefronts like a food co-op or a local restaurant. As the actual people in the mall slowly take over from the fleeing corporate interests, perhaps enough capital could be raised to purchase the mall itself from its current owners and turn it into a collectively owned property. I know that I would love to be able to just walk down the hall to grab some Swedish fish out of a bulk bin in the middle of the night, because I'm a very healthy person. Further development could include depaving some of the parking lots, adding rooftop solar panels, and building more housing in the former parking areas. Since the solar punk future has reduced dependence on personal automobiles, an improved frequency of bus service to the mall as well as improving connections to the local Ravana trail system would be critical. A car sharing station could round out the transportation options for our little collective. None of these changes are particularly earth-shattering on their own, but each little adjustment to bad zoning and land use decisions inherited from the last century gets us a step further on our road to a sustainable future. Is there a property in your area that could be repurposed for something cool? Let us know down below in the comments, and we will see you all next time. If you like this video and want to support this channel, you can go ahead and check out the camaraderie link down below in the description. And I'd like to give a special shout out to supporters Cade and Ryan for their support. 